Hey there, everyone. This is Mystic Fish, and welcome to episode 25 of our playthrough of Factorio Death World Marathon. Uh, last episode, we got red circuit set up, um, although I did notice a small problem with it. Uh, let us peruse the base selfie here. Um, we recently got a border wall up here, tapped some coal, or sorry, copper. Uh, we've tapped this copper over here. We have access to a lot more iron. We have access to more coal, more copper. Um, we are concerned about where to get stone, possibly up here. Uh, but I think what we need to do is we need to fix a problem with the red circuit production and then finish blue science. Uh, so uh, that would be extraordinarily exciting if we were to be able to do that. So uh, astute viewers may have noticed that um, we are still running short on petroleum gas and that is because we did not actually hook up the oil. So we should probably go do that. Um, let's see, uh, I guess for this one, we can just do this. Um, we'll connect these, then we should have plenty of petroleum gas for plastic. All right, there we go. Actually, let's use the broken ones just because we can. And there we go. That's petroleum gas. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> All right. Uh, very good. So that should help us out with, uh, are we getting enough, uh, are we getting enough petroleum gas up here? Barely, barely, but we're not really using it over here. So we will see how that goes. Um, we are, I think, overproducing plastic. So at some point this should make its way down the line and back up over here. So uh, now the other thing that we talked about doing, but which we have not yet done, is uh, we're gonna continue the red circuits down here. Um, we want to prioritize up our priority left. Let's just check what's going on down here. Uh, we are getting some damage up here, but uh, still okay. We're gonna, we're gonna let it go for a little bit. And uh, let's see, these are extra red circuits then. And I believe what we can do is we can use this for modules. Um, and we're not gonna have a ton of extra here. So we can, uh, let's see, I think we should start with prod modules. Um, that will let us, that will let us uh, sort of make all of our mining go a little further because uh, we'll stick those in the lab. Uh, and we'll put this here. Uh, let's see, modules are slow, so yellow inserter should be fine. Let's get a box. Um, and let's see, we have, how many labs do we have? We have, um, right now, uh, 36. So uh, they can each take two, so we need 72. So we will just, We'll just limit things like that. Okay, and that should use our extra extra red circuits for a while until we do something. Okay, <clears throat> next, uh, we need sulfur, um, which conveniently enough can be found over here. We'll leave a little space here. You can become sulfur. Um, you, let's see, we need to move you over to here. And then we can put this down to connect the petroleum gas. And we can bring the water over from here since we already did sulfur here. Whoops. Let's make sure we connect this. Sure. And then there. Okay. What else do you take? That is all you need. Um, so that will make sulfur. <clears throat> We're going to want to combine it with the extra red circuits here. And we need the engines here. So we need, we're missing seven more assemblers. So we need uh, green circuits, maybe some iron. But let's go see what's in here. Uh, we are still missing the stuff for, what are we missing from here? We're missing iron. Okay, so let's get iron out of one of our buffers. What's this? We should always look at stuff. This is um, still getting attacked that end of the base. Um, so 
Uh, we will have to do something about that over there. Okay, we needed seven, right? So five, six, seven. Um, we do not need more explosives at the moment, so we'll just stick those in there. <clears throat> um, uh, let's get our engines in here. Uh, I'll pick you up. Now you can make engines. How many of these do we have? Maybe enough. So we can just do these guys and probably that. So we can connect this and this and this and this. Okay, those are making engines, which we can go ahead and put on the output, uh, like so. Oh, we're out of inserters. Let's go get some. We're actually not far from the inserters, so we can do that. Okay, inserters, thank you. Okay, we will get these go here, these go here, and you can go there, and then we can power you like that, and like that. Okay. Actually, we didn't need this one. Okay, that is all the engines. So we have all of the stuff, actually, for blue science. So um, we have a couple of options here. We actually need uh, 12 blue science, uh, 12 assemblers for blue science to get 45 science per minute. So that's eight. Okay, now we're short on iron gears. So let's get these. Uh, that was eight. What do we say we needed? Twelve. So four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, I think, I think we can, here, let's just plot this out a little bit. I think we can just, we can just stick them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, let's count those. That's twelve. Okay, so we'll stick them there, which means we can probably route the engines we can actually route the engines this way, we can route the red circuits this way, um, and we can route the sulfur this way, and then we can have an output belt that goes that way. So that seems like that will work. Um, you can become blue science, very exciting. Um, let's put the rest of these down. Okay, you are gonna become blue science. We will copy that recipe down here. And let's see, we are gonna say one, two. So this is gonna be the output. And this will be the, let's see, we gotta come down this way. This will be the engine input this way. And then we need two spaces here, one, two. And then this can be sulfur. And we will take the sulfur down to here. And this can be red circuits going this way and that I believe will do it so let's connect this stuff up we are also gonna have to check power which actually before we turn the signs on we should go fix um, okay so let's take a look at the power grid um, which is down here all right how many boilers are we currently running we are currently running 12 so uh, I think let's build out the next eight so can we do that um, we have Oh, we put all the stone furnaces down. So let's go get those. We'll get some boilers. We'll get some, uh, let's see, what do we need for these? We're gonna need iron. We're just gonna need iron. So let's go get some. Uh, we've been, as long as we haven't really been doing much new production, we haven't really, so we're gonna do eight more boilers. So that means we need 16 more steam engines. Um, that is still okay. Um, we will actually use some of the burner inserters down here. Where are they all? Um, here's some. Uh, let's see, we need eight, so that's five. Um, and let's see. Will this do eight? Ha <laughs> ha, okay, great. All right, so that is okay. These are out. Starting iron patch is done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so. We'll pick this up, but let's not get too distracted because we really need power. We're short on power, so um, we will be picking this stuff up. Oh, let's see, we need boilers. And I just walked past, I, didn't we make a trash box with all of the stone furnaces in it? We did, there it is. <coughs> all right, so we need eight stone furnaces. So what's in here? Um, four, 47, let's see if we put some back, um, half back. Let's see, we need eight, right? 
Uh, close enough. Okay, now we can make boilers. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, we, uh, we still have pipes, so that's okay. And this is, so 20 boilers is the most. You can run off one water pump. Um, there's actually a full lane of coal will uh, will actually uh, support more than 20 boilers, but um, we are not actually running a full lane of coal because we are splitting it with um, the smelting and explosives and plastic and stuff like that. So we'll pick this stuff up. Um, let's see. All right, let's get rid of you. And let's drag the rest of the power. That didn't work because I was putting it on top of myself. Okay, that is all of those. We can drag these this way. We can drag these this way. And we can drag the power this way. Um, and we can put these in between these on this side and then connect our pipes. and get our coal over here, get our burner inserters, and this should be power fixed for right now, especially if we go prioritize. Okay, so uh, let's do, where's our turrets here? Let's, uh, let's make uh, one of our little bunkers here. Let's get some ammo. Let's get two flamethrower turrets. One here and one here. Nope. Here. Let's get pipe to connect these. You are coming from this direction. Whoops. Not those. These. Okay. And you go like that, and you go like that, and uh, sure, we'll just do it that way. And then pipe goes in there, and then we need walls. So let's just do our wall thing out front here. Uh, especially if we close the corner. Okay, uh, that's a bunker set up, so that's good. Um, can this see the whole way over there? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So that takes care of power. Let's look at power. Okay. Much better. Power is much happy. Um, but it does mean that where we split down here coming from the coal outpost. Oops. We got one more. We got one more copper miner to move. Two more copper miners to move. We can do that here. One, two. Um, you're done. You're done. You're done. We can pick up this stuff. Um, we want to prioritize power, so we're going to say output priority left. Okay. We do not want to be running out of power. Oh, this was just in time. Okay. Um, but I want to get the blue signs turned on um, because that will be a fine accomplishment for us. Um, so let's see, we said, okay, we're back. All right, we need, we've got the engines coming in. Uh, these will be blue signs coming out. So we need sulfur coming in up here. So we can do like, I guess we can put it out here. And come up here and then go across and that will be sulfur. So let's get you turned on. You can go there and you can go there. All right, now we got sulfur going. Uh, this is gonna be the output. So that's good, right there. And we need the red circuits coming in over here. So we will take a bend here and route the red circuits in there. And now we just need a crap ton of these. I think like 48. I don't know how many I just queued. Uh, but we will find out. So these need both of those belts. These need both of those belts. Uh, 
Okay, and then you need coming in these. And you need going out these. Except that I'm in the way. Okay. And then we need power. Okay, so let's do that. I think we can connect all these if we do this. And we do this. Okay, um, I believe that is blue science. Um, I guess we have some defense here. So we need to, we need to actually route it um, so it's on the other side of this, which that will actually work just fine. What's being destroyed now? Um, that is at the outpost. All right, so we definitely are gonna need to go push up there next. But um, in the meantime, we can route the blue science directly down here. Um, and then that should join. Okay, so now research priorities. So uh, we said we wanna look for pollution efficiency. Um, this is actually one of them. Um, the advanced oil processing will let us do cracking and we'll get more petroleum gas, especially out per unit of uh, crude oil coming in. Um, so that will be a big win for us. Um, and uh, so we'll do that first. And then I think it'll be time to go for tanks, perhaps. Tanks will be a big win. Um, and then bots. So we may, because of the whole black science, 27 science per minute, we may alternate between pursuing tanks and uh, going for bots um, because the bots are gonna let us repair our walls automatically, which would be exciting. Okay, so we're gonna start that. Um, blue science is arriving. Um, this needs some attention. I think we need to do a little repair tour here. So let's get one of the fleet of cars um, like this. And we'll take a tour. Let's see. So the out, let's see. A couple things needed repairs. So one was we just used all those damaged damage guys out here to defend the end of the power. So, and then of course the biters showed up, so we should just fix this wall out here, which will not uh, take us too long, especially if we zoom in and see what we're doing. Okay, that is better. Um, so here I said I was gonna save time and just, you know, oh, I'll come back later. And then it was like, well, it's later. So, um, but that's okay. Spruce these up. Okay, and then we need, where are you getting attacked? Up here, Northern Wall. Okay, uh, we need Dragon Teeth up there. Um, that was up here, so. Okay, so it looks like while we are doing our research, it is back to defending stuff. Uh, so, uh, let's see, how are we on walls? We're a little short on walls if we want to do dragon teeth. So let us go acquire some more um, walls over here. I'm not going to attempt to drive through the smelting. Um, I'm just going to pick up the car um, and we'll run down the production line to where the walls are, which are down here at the end of Black Science, uh, which is backed up, so that's okay. So that means we can work towards, uh, all right, get some wall, and then let's go up north to defend the outposts and stuff. All right, we are, uh, we are slowly but surely making progress. Um, this is a big step. Having automated blue science means that we have some sort of free reign on, we don't really have to, we won't really have to touch the factory much. Um, how many miners do I have, by the way? Do I have, if I can get 15 uh, while I'm up here, I do. So that is, or I only need 14, so I've got five, I need nine. Five, one, two, three, four, okay. I can add my extra half lane to the iron outpost as long as I'm up here. 
So this is what was getting attacked. Um, ooh, we flamed um, that. That's going to get awkward real fast. See, we flamed the copper line. Um, so it would probably be better to blow some of that up and route you this way. Um, and then across and then down and then behind the oil and across the output and then turn to there. And we will just wait. Let's see, we can repair while we're waiting for that iron, that ore to make its way. I'm going, we're going to pick this stuff up, but uh, it'll take up less space in the inventory if we fix it. Okay. Um, this is okay. Um, I think we do need to repair some of these turrets. You are just flat out of ammo. Um, we'll leave you in there. Uh, you also need ammo. Wow, you, this, this area got kind of beat up here. Um, possibly because I need to like actually enclose this in walls. Like this. Maybe they were pathing in there. All right, um, we are gonna consider that uh, repaired enough uh, for now. Um, our rerouting of the copper has worked, so that's good. Let's pick this up. And uh, let's see. All right, that's all that extra. We can come repair this side. Okay, um, and let's see, do we have space to put more miners in here is the question. Mm, not super really. Um, if I pick this up, can I squeeze them in there? Maybe. Yep, I can. Okay, I just gotta get myself out of the way. All right, um, all right, Iron Outpost is starting to dwindle. We're getting some dead ones over here on the ends. So we can prune those. Um, but this means we are probably gonna need to go tap that other big one. That's to our west um, sometime soon. Um, so that is what we're gonna be focusing on, I think, in the future. But um, let's finish coming up to the northern wall up here because we do need to install the dragon teeth up here and uh, we'll see how the copper mining is going. Fine, copper is being mined. And let's see, where did we get attacked? It's probably over this side here. Um, there is a little bit of damage. There's a little bit of damage, those are okay. Um, but I feel like, where was that attack? It was like, hmm, where was that attack? Can we see it? Um, I guess it was that stuff um, that we flanked. So they didn't actually do as much damage as I thought. Um, however, they did show up here, so and it is right under that other biter base, so it is probably worthwhile to... Yeah, there's some damage up here. It's probably worthwhile to think about um, some dragon teeth here, um, but we can leave that as a problem for future Mystic Fish. Uh, I think we will stop here uh, as an episode. Big milestone for us. We got Blue Science up and running. First Blue Science being researched. And uh, let's just check the production stats. Um, if we go for a minute and we filter by science, uh, we are around 45, a little more on all of those. So that is good stuff. Um, we have reached the next phase uh, and we are still alive. Uh, and so we'll see how it goes. All right, that's gonna be an episode for us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.